California DVD shows an elevation of 2 degrees. We are transmitting six, video, but no 2 meter contact as yet. KC6A, I have a picture, uh, and it's faded. I had a brief picture that says 2 meter contact, they are showing the picture. KC6A, go ahead. Good heavens, good morning. <laughs> KB5 AWP, here is KC6A. Okay, uh, we'll, we'll, um, not, yeah, that one's good. We're, we're absolutely astounded, this is great. Okay, KB5 AWP here, this is KC6A. And by. We'll, uh, try this picture and uh, tell us uh, if you get anything else. Go ahead. Okay, I have a picture, but when I transmit, I lose it. I will just watch and record. Okay, very good. Well, we're also transmitting uh, audio, KB5 uh, AWP from KC6A, and uh, we'd like to know uh, how the how the picture is. Um, are you getting uh, snow free, snowy, or or uh, or what? Go ahead. Okay, looks black and white, uh, pretty clear, not too much snow. Terrific. We will. Uh, we've got another uh, tape here. We're going to start in a minute. Go ahead and take the lens cap off. We'll give you some live uh, stuff here, um, and then we got a short uh, tape we'll play for you. And you can just uh, watch, and then after the tape, we'll come back live, and you can tell us uh, how you received it. KB5 AWP from KC6A. Okay, we're going to quickly remove this and we will plug in uh, the main tape here we have. Got a tape that uh, shows the station and uh, also some of the people involved here. So we'll play this here. Hi, I'm Jim, KC6A, and I'd like to welcome the crew of the Shuttle Atlantis to the world of Fast Scan Amateur TV. I'd like to show you the station that we're using here and also introduce the people that we have working to help bring this about. Okay, we're using a PC Electronics to uh, transmit with and uh, driving a little amplifier that drives a 600 watt uh, amplifier with about 12 kilowatts ERP on video and about one and a half kilowatts ERP on audio. Hi, I'm Dave, WA6PMX. Uh, wish I was where you are. We're here tracking you on a computer and we're on the phone to NASA. Hi, I'm Will, A6DD, and this is Jim's KC6A's power amplifier that we're going to be using to transmit the video by. Hi, I'm Doug, uh, WA6LXB, and I'll be um, operating the elevation control and the azimuth control to uh, keep our antennas pointed at the uh, sp spacecraft. And uh, I'll be using the, uh, the uh, little uh, portable PC to uh, get the uh, orbital elements to uh, keep the antenna pointed. Hope you're able to pick up this okay. Live long and prosper and have a safe flight home. See you when you get back. Okay, we're back live. KB5 AWP from KC6A. That's the end of the tape. Uh, are you copying any? Um, you copying my audio subcarrier? Okay, KB5 AWP from KC6A. We finished the tape. I hope you copied that. We've got about 20 seconds, and then we're going to switch over to the next station. We'll say uh, 73s uh, to you, and hope you received that. Okay. Um, KB5 uh, AWP from KC6A, success hooray. Hey, KC6A, this is KB5 AWP. Jim, it was great. That was a first. We got uh, the whole tape. I saw you then pick up the mic and talk to me. Uh, had uh, varying quality. 
I couldn't get too much color up here, but I had, uh, you know, P4, sometimes dropping down, but a uh, very good quality picture of you and all your uh, compatriots. Could not copy the uh, audio on that, over. Uh, Roger. Well, we're not surprised about the uh, the color because uh, our color is uh, attenuated. However, uh, we are a little surprised about the audio, but I guess that's the way it goes. <laughs> but that's terrific that you saw us. We're going to let switch over to uh, W five RRR now. So go ahead. This is KC six A clear. Roger that. KB five AWP uh, listening. Okay, he's listening for triple R. Go ahead. Shuttle astronauts pull off a space rescue. The mission is back on track. Local ham radio operators are claiming a first. They've beamed pictures to the shuttle astronauts. Shuttle shooter Judd McElvain says a miracle potency formula for men is all it's cracked up to be. And we'll show you the special day for the unofficial mayor of Griffith Park. Action News Sunday report is next. Another first today involving the shuttle and a group of Southern California amateur radio operators. Working out of a house in Long Beach, the group became the first to successfully transmit television pictures to the space shuttle Atlantis. Live long and prosper and have a safe flight home. See you when you get back. And that was the picture transmitted to the shuttle this morning. It happened shortly after 7.30 Pacific time, and as you might guess, these guys were more than a little excited when they found out their experiment worked. <laughs> NASA confirmed to the LA Times that we were indeed the first ones to send video to the shuttle and they congratulated us. The group admits Atlantis astronauts never received the audio portion, but that didn't dampen their enthusiasm. In fact, they may give it another try before Atlantis touches down to Earth. Going to turn it around a little bit here now. For years, we've been seeing pictures, TV pictures, from astronauts on board the space shuttle. And today, for the first time, the pictures went in the other direction. A special ham radio and TV experiment package is on board Atlantis. And today, a ham operator in Long Beach successfully beamed these TV pictures to the shuttle. Live long and prosper and have a safe flight home. See you when you get back. Jim, it was great. That was a first. We got uh, the whole tape. I saw you then pick up the mic and talk to me. Mr. Spock, or whoever that was, <laughs> it took a special computer program, as you might imagine, to keep the ground antenna aimed directly at the shuttle. He keeps moving up there during the five minutes of transmission. That's what they say the first time they're on TV in space. And part of history now, too. <laughs> well, down here on the ground. It has also been an exciting day for the radio ham operators following the shuttle mission. A Long Beach amateur radio operator today transmitted television signals to the space shuttle Atlantis. Jim Steffen and his friends congratulated themselves, as you see this morning, for sending live television pictures of themselves into space. We, we were very excited. We made the first attempt yesterday and it was uh, unsuccessful. The orientation of the spacecraft was uh, wrong for receiving the picture. and we. We didn't expect it to be a success today. And uh, when we first uh, started transmitting, uh, right away, Ken Cameron came back and said, receiving your picture, a good picture. And uh, it was just, uh, you know, real elation. And one important note, this is the first successful attempt by the Shuttle Amateur Radio Experiment, or SAREX project, which is coordinated by the Amateur Radio Buffs, as well as NASA. I bet you those guys can program their VCR. I bet you they can, and mine too, probably. Yes. There's more news ahead. Well, despite all the excitement, the crew of the Atlanta still had time to talk directly to some radio TV amateurs in Long Beach today. They gathered, the amateurs did, at the home of Jim Steffen and got through to the Atlantis this morning around 7.30. They beamed a video picture at the Atlantis and then took video pictures of themselves as the reply came back. This was the first successful attempt by amateurs to reach an orbiting shuttle. Hey, KC6A, this is KB5 AWP. Jim, it was great. That was a first. We got uh, the whole tape. I saw you then pick up the mic and talk to me. 
uh, had a very good quality picture of you and all your uh, compatriots. Well, he looks proud. <laughs> it is regarded as the first successful attempt in a program called Shuttle Amateur Radio Experiment. <laughs> They're having fun. <laughs> yes. Well, uh, we have more news still to come. In a, a group of talented amateurs communicated with the shuttle today by television and from Long Beach. They gathered at the home of Jim Steffen and got through to the Atlantis this morning around 7.30. It is regarded as the first successful attempt in a program called Shuttle Amateur Radio Experiment. Stefan's group transmitted a homemade video to the Atlantic showing a graphic of their station in Long Beach and pictures of the group itself as it transmitted to the Atlantis. Uh, the amateur group is very proud of its accomplishment today. In the several years of the Cerex amateur program, this is the first successful experiment that they've had. Well, today is the... There was another first in space today thanks to a ham operator in Long Beach and some special equipment on the shuttle Atlantis. Linda Moore shows us the first TV transmissions from ground to shuttle. These space hams are flying high. This morning, a dream come true. Using ham radio technology and very simple home electronics bought from local stores, they sent live video into space, hoping the orbiting shuttle Atlantis would see it. And sure enough, as Atlantis circled within transmission range, the signal came in. Okay, looks black and white, uh, pretty clear, not too much snow. The shuttle sends video all the time, but never before has it been received in space. And it all happened not from NASA headquarters, but from a suburban home relayed by a 50-foot rooftop antenna. This is a day these ham radio operators will never forget. When I first got asked, I woke up in the middle of the night after I got asked, and I said, oh my gosh, what am I going to say to astronauts in space? So he passed on a small step for man and a large leap for ham operators and just said, hi. Then this amateur ground crew tweaked a few more knobs and the picture came in even better. The black and white video turned to color and the experiment was a full success. Great. Jim, it was great. That was the first. We got uh, the whole tape. I saw you then pick up the mic and talk to me. Uh, had. Uh, Varying quality. I couldn't get too much color up here, but I had, uh, you know, P4 sometimes dropping down, but a uh, very good quality picture of you and all your uh, compatriots. Live long and prosper and have a safe flight home. See you when you get back. In Long Beach, Linda Moore, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. An early morning. A group of Southern California ham radio operators made history today. Those men transmitted the first video pictures to astronauts aboard the space shuttle Atlantis. Live long and prosper and have a safe flight home. See you when you get back. That greeting, along with several others, were transmitted live to the shuttle this morning. The audio portion of the greetings was never received. Still, these guys were pretty excited when they found out that in pictures, their experiment actually worked. Great. <laughs> Flushed with success, the group now may plan to send Atlantis another video message. This Tuesday, you know, is a A group of Southern California ham radio operators celebrate history this morning. They transmitted the first video pictures to astronauts aboard the space shuttle Atlantis. Live long and prosper and have a safe flight home. See you when you get back. That greeting, along with several others, transmitted live to the shuttle Sunday morning. The uh, audio portion was never received. Still, these guys are pretty excited when they found out the experiment actually worked for the most part. The group may try to send Atlantis another video message. A group of Southern California ham radio operators is credited with the first. They transmitted the first video pictures to astronauts aboard the space shuttle Atlantis. Live long and prosper and have a safe flight home. See you when you get back. That greeting and several others were transmitted live to the shuttle yesterday. The audio transmission unfortunately didn't make it, but that didn't dull their enthusiasm, and the group may try to send another message. It sports the Lakers.